Hi, and welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Ross Benjamin. It is Thursday, June the 13th, and I got a Major League Baseball free pick for you today, and it comes in the Angels and the Arizona Diamondbacks game. One of those situations, folks, that I've alluded to on several occasions over the course of the last couple months in these free pick videos on Wager Talk TV is the fact that sometimes people get too caught up in looking at uh, a team's overall statistics for the year and failing to realize or just ignoring what they've done of late, meaning is a team um, that has a subpar batting average as a team or subpar power numbers as a team in Major League Baseball for the year? Uh, have they shown a tendency to turn that around over the last week or so. Again, I'm going to be, this is going to be a prime example as such, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Just a friendly reminder, folks. Um, we had another free pick winner yesterday and the Boston Celtics and Dallas Mavericks game three. We had the under 212 and a half. I gave you a nice uh, NBA finals betting total uh, angle on that. And uh, again, uh, the game was under 212 and a half, and they were at 205. And uh, again, um, my NBA playoff selections on these free pick videos over the course of the last eight weeks, folks, just absolutely annihilating the sports books with those. And I just ask you to give kindly give me a like. I don't need a star on my forehead. This is what I do for a living. This is what I'm supposed to be doing for you. Um, but in any event, it may, goes a long way in keeping these videos free and also making the powers to be over at Wager Talk TV very happy with my performance. And the only way they can measure that is if you hit that like button. So I don't think I'm asking too much. Just kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Wager Talk TV, folks, you'll be privy to some of the world's best sports betting experts and know. I don't think that's bravado because if you look at the resumes of uh, the handicappers and or sports betting experts, no, no matter what term you want to use on uh, wager talk and sports memo, uh, you'll find they're amongst the best anywhere in the world today. And uh, by the way, folks, um, I no later than Monday, you will be able to find me at wager talk exclusively. So you won't be able to find any more of my picks or uh, my videos anywhere else beside Wager Talk TV and Wager Talk. Okay, I'm currently at Sports Memo, but that's about to change over the next couple of days. And a couple of great things to look forward to. Uh, tomorrow is Customer Appreciation Day. And uh, those of you who have been following my pay premium picks over at Sports Memo know that I've been number one in the NBA postseason 2022-2023 uh, and currently in 2024. I lost yesterday on my premium pick because I had the Dallas Mavericks minus two in the first half and they only led 51-50 at the half. So we barely lose that one, but it's a loser nonetheless. Uh, that still makes me 40-24 and 24 with my NBA uh, postseason selections here in 2024. And again, folks, Game four winner be up tonight after 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, it will uh, be just $5 for that pick because it's customer appreciation day. All right. Uh, for those of you who are impatient out there and just want me to speed up to just giving you the pick, uh, I'm not your guy for that, folks. If you're not willing to listen to my analysis and try to learn something or uh, just know that I have a method to my madness and there's a reason why I'm picking a certain game or a certain pick, uh, then I guess I'm not for you. But hopefully that most of you, I believe, that's not the case. In any event, let's get to the game at hand. All right, so the Arizona Diamondbacks will be hosting the LA Angels. It'll be Griffin Canning on the mound for the Angels. It will be Brandon Fought for the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm going to focus in on the total in this game, which is eight and a half. Let's start with the starting pitchers. Griffin Canning, 0-6, and, and his team starts on the road this year with a 5.06 ERA. And uh, in those outings, he's allowed six home runs and 32 innings pitched. Um, that's a pretty high rate for home runs per innings pitched when it comes to starting pitchers. 
the uh, Angels bullpen over their last seven games. Terrible form. Uh, 633 ERA as a staff, also a 169 whip. And uh, that leaves uh, Gr- Griffin Canning. Uh, it can't rely on his bullpen. He struggled a bit on the road this year. And, uh, you know, he's not going to go seven plus innings, most likely, uh, based on his past performances. So uh, he can't rely on his bullpen. And that doesn't set up well uh, for the Angels going into this game. Brandon fought, by the way, his last three starts. Bad form, a 638 ERA. He's also allowed four home runs in 18 and the third innings pitched during those outings. And the Arizona bullpen, uh, yeah, their ERA looks deceiving at 466. That's not great by any stretch of the imagination. Not horrible as well. But here's the thing. During those seven games, their whip is 164. That leads me to believe uh, this that – ERA is very deceiving. They've been a bit lucky. Usually a 164 whip will bring you above five or into the sixes with your ERA. And here's the other thing. Arizona relievers have pitched 36 and two-thirds innings over their last seven games. That's over five innings pitched per game by your bullpen. That means your bullpen is going to be extremely tired and worn down and vulnerable. Arizona has gone over the total in their last five games with a combined 12.6 runs scored per game. Arizona pitchers, by the way, we talked about their weakness with their pitching staff, whether it be starting pitcher tonight with Griffin Canning or their bullpen. But Arizona pitchers overall have allowed 12 hits per game over their last seven. That's not very good at all, folks. Uh, The Angels have gone over in their last three games. Now, this is an Angels team that has uh, really struggled to generate offense for most of this year. Uh, They did go over in their last three, like I just alluded to. And during those three games, they've averaged seven runs scored per game. And uh, they've also had 11 or more hits on each occasion. First two games of the series produced 11 and 13 runs and a combined six home runs hit. Uh, I'm looking for a high scoring affair here relative to a Reasonable total of eight and a half. I'm going to go with the LA Angels and the Arizona Diamondbacks over eight and a half in this game. Uh, and again, I will be back later today uh, with a game for NBA free pick uh, in the finals between Boston and Dallas. So stay tuned for that. Reminder, folks, again, tomorrow is Customer Appreciation Day. Tomorrow is also game four to the NBA f- finals between Dallas and Boston. And I will have a premium 4% top play in the NBA tomorrow at Sports Memo. And if not at Sports Memo, wager talk. I don't know right now. Uh, Either or, folks. Uh, And it's only going to be $5. And again, folks, number one in 2022, number one in 2023, currently number one in 2024 with a 40 and 12, 24 record uh, in the NBA postseason. Um, and then also we have a, another two other great specials I'd like you to at least uh, take a look at and, and take advantage of. I mean, right now you can get seven days all access pass for me at Sports Memo or Wager Talk, $64. $64, folks. That's just a little over $9 a day. And how about this 30-day special offer, 30-day all access pass? Normally 239 right now until the end of the week, uh, you can take advantage of uh, just getting that pass for $158, which again, uh, if I math is correct, uh, that's $81 off the normal price. So $158 for the next 30 days from yours truly, that amounts to a little over $6 a day. So you people out there who... Um, Tell me you're a small better and you can't afford me. Here's your opportunity to take advantage and get in and let's make some money uh, with my premium picks in both the NBA, uh, Major League Baseball, and uh, what's left here in the NHL Stanley Cup Finals. So until the next time, which will be later today, free pick in game four of the NBA Finals between uh, Dallas and Boston. And folks, don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care and God bless, folks.